Hi YouTube, hope you're doing well today. Welcome back once again to another series of educational and informative videos. Again, as I have said before, we do not always know the characters we will play. We will get you some Falco and Marth. We will get you some interesting games. We will try to make as many um, unique callouts as we can while still going over fundamental principles. And uh, that's kind of why I like Unranked because you still get new players playing differently while uh, still going over some of the base important things. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get into it in just a moment. Um, hopefully you enjoy, stick around. Maybe you learn something if you do, let me know. Anyway, thank you so much. Have a good one. <laughs> All right, we're going to get in on a Falco Ditto on Battlefield. Now, I notice we're going to be starting out with just some various lasers here. We want to rack up as much damage as possible. That was good. They waited. <laughs> and they're going to go ahead and uh, take our stock early here. Now. I'm surprised that hit. Oh, my shine didn't come out. That's okay. So what is this person doing really well right now? This person is doing a great job of putting out moves like back air, like up tilt, and catching me out. So they had to come in a little bit farther if they wanted to live. I think maybe they could have drifted in. We'll just go to edge here. We haven't done that yet. And notice you can come out with uh, wave dash, double jump back air. We still had space to make it back. Learning where you can do that is really important. So again, notice how tight a lot of these uh, spacings are for us. Oops. Cool. <laughs> This person is really forcing me to think, so I'm apologies for not making this as informative as I could. So I'm trying to put out a laser, and I'm trying to make sure this guy's also respecting the fact that I could come in with an aerial. Ah, almost. And so I wasn't able to get the longest combos there because this person did have some good SDI. Um, and so they're gonna go end up end up leaving, but. Hopefully you guys thought that was kind of interesting how they were shooting higher lasers to try and catch me out of my counter to mid height lasers, which is doing my own high lasers. Falco pulls his legs up when he does shoot. So if you do a high laser and don't fast fall, you keep your legs up and barely avoid a laser while putting out your own that hits them while they're jumping and that can give you laser control. But you also notice some other things. Sometimes we would just stop shooting lasers altogether. Why is that? Well, sometimes when you get close to the other Falco, you could attack immediately. So the other Falco wants to beat your attack. But if you just go for a laser to regain control, the other Falco could hit you. Or the other Falco could move, or one Falco could go high, avoid both, and then retreat, or go for an attack in that way. But if one Falco is under a platform, then that makes it harder to do that. So there are many layers to the ways in which Falco can kind of fight himself. And when you get kind of close, not fully close, but kind of, things get very awkward. And so, if both Falcos are aware of these mix-ups, it becomes very important to play around stuff, especially like back air up tilt. Now, um, you might notice that after I was calling out their back airs and up tilts, I got hit by them a little bit less. That's simply because I started lasering a little bit more, and when you get hit by a laser, you turn around, so they could no longer back air up tilt unless they turned back around. Um, but yeah, they had a lot of good ideas, and um, it was an interesting match. GG's to Rolko. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit of Falco Ditto action. Yeah, it was surprising they left, but, uh, you know, everyone wants different stuff. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get in on a Falco Ditto with Thomas. And you notice at the beginning, we are gonna shoot out some lasers, get the damage, because the more damage we have, the more damage we have, more we can start pushing the other person off the stage and notice we cover the edge with down smash we don't shoot a, too many extra lasers off stage 
Often I do make that mistake. I'll shoot too many off stage. Whoop. And notice I had to be very quick on my shine downer to get my pressure out. And also I went for forward air to keep the person closer to me. This person's got a little bit of rolling they like doing. Notice we just kind of snuck in there, took the edge. You take the edge from Falco, forced up B. Kind of awkward. Oh my goodness. So I tried to get my forward tilt out to beat that. Didn't quite make, make it. And they had time to act there, but I just kind of wanted to go for a quick punish. So we're going to go for a color switch, go back in. Now we're going to be on final destination. No platforms to reset our lasers this time, but we can still go high. Notice we both do that at the beginning. Very conscious. And notice again, we didn't shoot too many lasers. We want to cover immediate side B. Encourage double jumps as much as possible. I don't want to go off stage. I cover, I pressure the landing with the laser. So important to do. Didn't give us the roll. Thought we were going to get it. Nope, didn't get my jab out, and I was holding away, so I'm going to get reversaled here. Oops, that's not a side B. There's our roll. Nope, try to get shine, uh, shine bear. And they had good drift away, you'll notice that. Dash attack forward smash, going to be really good combo tool at this percent. Dash attack also beat the laser startup, if you'll notice. And we caught their jump with the shine. Notice we delayed that a little bit. This person's not coming up with an attack off stage. Oh. So I they weren't going for an immediate attack again, so I thought I could just get away with getting them to B or something. They missed their L cancel because I thought they were gonna hit me. We have some lag. Oh, we got some lag. But um, you can kind of see that we chased the person down, and what did we do? Whenever they were missing text, that we actually got another punish for them. Falco gets much more leverage when the opponent is missing their text. He also gets leverage if the opponent, if he's lasering too close to the opponent, and they call him out with an attack. So you'll notice that I got some really big openings by just running into the Falco when they thought they had advantage or when they did have advantage, but I just called out they would go for another laser. And I can also confirm this because laser has quite a bit of startup on it, several, many, many frames. So if I think they might laser, I see a laser, I can come in with my dash attack if I'm a little slow. If I have more confidence, I go for a nair, and then I can get a big punish. Of course, dash attack can give me a fine combo at, we'll say, 60% and up. You saw that I was able to dash attack into um, a kill move at um, around 100 or so. So dash attack can be perfectly fine to win neutral with in this matchup. You have to make sure the opponent's not holding down. But in the Falco Ditto, the opponent is rarely holding down, especially past 40. Um, and uh, that means we're gonna, be, we're gonna be able to get some good punishes. Thomas no longer used uh, too much rolling once we called that out. But when Falco is in shield, does he have really good options? Not really, um, especially if he's facing towards us. He can't back air, he can't up tilt. He can't really run away. He can full hop, he can wave dash, he can down air. He could laser, but these things are often all beaten by my back air or just putting out another laser and just making him hold that. So that can be kind of tough. And when we were comboing, notice we didn't really want to just keep, um, we didn't want to just hit him for the sake of it. We wanted to often push him out. And we also saw that uh, we were trying to do DI mix-ups. Did he want to hold out? Can we forward smash that? You also saw that we were really covering the side B to edge with our down smash. We didn't do over lasering when the opponent's off the stage. Some Falcos want to laser a lot. We don't have to let them do that. And we, when we got hit, we didn't um, opt to go to the middle, give them a lot of damage. We went off stage so we can go high. And even if we take a hit, we can often still make it back on stage. Just a little bit of a gamble. You can often choose different routes when you are getting hit. Um, and I think something good I can point out for my opponent, Thomas did a uh, shine back air that I wasn't expecting. And shine back air often plays off of my DI and sends me the way that I'm trying to survival DI as, um, you know, the DI that makes me go farther away. So 
Um, Shine back air can be really strong as long as you're able to hit it. Thomas hit it once and it worked well, but then uh, missed it and then didn't get a big punish at all. So you have to make sure you're really consistent with your tech. And because shine back air is often hit at higher percent, it can be harder to link. So that is risk reward for you, the player, to decide on. Anyway, uh, hopefully that's uh, some interesting stuff to think about and you enjoy these Falco Ditto games. GG's to Thomas.